Hello everyone and welcome to a video, video tutorial on how to design a custom layout for the Trade Zero Pro platform. Okay, so this is our default layout. If you go to the quick launch bar up here, uh, click on the icon, go to open layout. You can see that uh, when you download Zero Pro, this is um, what you, this is your default layout. So this, this real estate right here is the way it's going to look when you download the software when you first download the software so what we're going to do is we're just going to recreate this um, actually what we can do is just actually position some of the windows uh, so that it's more functional alright so this is going to be for when you're scanning the market early in the morning and you're looking for ideas you can create several different layouts so let's start with just a quick basic layout to show you guys how you should construct your layout so that it's easy to use. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete some of this and we're going to move some things around. The news up here at the top right hand corner. Always like to have the news somewhere on one of the corners of the screen. For me, it's just it's easier to read, it looks nice want to what I want to do here is I want to be able to see the dates for the headline so I'm just going to click preference and I'm going to include the dates all right let's move this here and I think that looks pretty good what do you think I think that looks really good all right here's your portfolio window well, let's move this to the lower lower right hand corner here. Got our level two. Uh, by now you should be familiar with the preferences. You right click, go to setup, display preferences. And what we're going to do is just remove this timestamp. Make it a little bit smoother. Pretty simple. And here let's uh, make this chart. We're going to change this to cues. 15 minute. We can zoom out. And later on in the video series, we're, we're going to go over how to add and customize the indicators. But right now, we're just going to make a simple, basic layout, not too complicated. All right, go back to the quick launch in the upper left hand corner, go to main. Let's add another chart. Okay. We're going to bring this over like this. And I'm going to do a quick link. Link to group A. That's checked already. OK. I'm going to go to the chart, make sure that this is linked. Check that. Link window. OK, so now you have the level two, the charts. Should be functional. Okay, so we got this chart. Um, we need to change this here. We want to remove the link for here, bring this back, make this the cues. All right. There you go. Okay, so we have some other windows here that we probably could position a little bit better. So we got our high and low scanner right here. Let's let's fix that. Just bring this here, expand this window. I like to have the ticker. I don't like to see too much information. I just want to see what's going on here. I could glance at this. The market's down today, so we're gonna we're gonna get a lot of stocks making new lows. And the next thing I want to do is Let's see here, I want to add a window for the indices. So maybe I should make this my watch list. I'm going to make this my watch list and bring this over here. All 
Okay, maybe there's some columns here that I would like to change. Just go to preferences. Just going to exclude some of these. Some of these columns here. And fix that. Okay, so that looks a little better. We're going to take out, we're going to delete this row here because we're going to put Dow Jones in our indice watch list here. And just you can fix the column so that's easier to uh, to read. This is percent change. We can add some additional columns if we want, but again, we're just trying to create a simple layout. Okay, so sort. I think we can add up to a hundred different symbols in this watch list. Okay, let's add our second watch list. In the Trade Zero Pro platform, you can have two up to two watch lists. So let's add let's add some of the indices here. Okay, so there you have it. Um, here here's a pretty simple layout that we could use. And on our next video, we're going to look into how to add custom indicators to the chart now that we have a basic layout. So before we forget, let's make sure that we save this layout, all the work that we've just done. We'll go to the icon, and click Save Layout, and this is going to be, we'll call this um, Day Trading, Day Trading Layout. There you have it. So pretty simple, easy to use now. We want to look at uh, some symbols. And we're ready to rock and roll here. Okay, great. So this concludes our video tutorial on how to build a custom layout for the Trade Zero Pro platform. Please stay tuned for more additional videos and click subscribe if you would like to stay updated on the latest videos, day trading videos here for Trade Zero Pro. Thank you for watching.